I was requested that we pray for peace in our country. But ever since last year, August, the Lord has been telling me not to pray for peace. I remember on 8th August 2022, when we gathered in this place to pray for peace, the Lord said we should not pray for peace. For you don't pray for what is available. You pray for what you need. Peace is available in Kenya, even at this moment. And therefore, I received a request that we pray for peace. But the Lord told me this morning, once again, Kenyans should not pray for peace. Therefore, I am not praying for peace. It is here. In August 2022, the Lord told me to have the devil out of Kenya. The devil left Kenya. He has come back. He will leave again. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I agree. Where Kenya is at the moment, it requires prayer. But not prayer for peace. Prayer for wisdom. I speak this to you and to the nation of Kenya. Our country does not need prayer for peace. We need prayer for wisdom. It is obvious that nobody can march forward to state house without meeting resistance. And I say resistance that will be very strong. That may cost people their lives. A state house is not a house of an individual. It is a house of the state guarded by the law. We don't do that. What we require, both government and uh, those who are not in government, we require wisdom. Lives cannot be sustained with prayer alone. They have to be sustained with prayer and wisdom. I give an urgent message to the president of the Republic of Kenya. Embrace wisdom. Any character in your government that could be planting seeds of revenge is antichrist. The current Kenyan government that was prayed into power must remain and must be sustained by prayer and wisdom. And I speak this again to the president and to all those in government. Anybody trying to plant a seed of revenge is antichrist and is not of God. We must live together as a nation and as a people. Whether you won or you lost, we must coexist. We have to live together. We have no choice as a nation but to live together as one people. Regardless of what has been the past. I want to remind everyone in this congregation and in Kenya, the Bible says, forget the past because God is doing something new. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We should never exercise revenge at any point, in any way, at all cost. What we need to pray for at the moment is wisdom. Let no one say we should not pray for wisdom. The Bible says if anyone lacks wisdom, let him pray. 
The prayer we need as a nation is not for peace. We are not praying to resist any kind of event. We are praying that wisdom may prevail in our country. And I want you to rise up as a church. I want you to rise up and pray that wisdom may prevail in the state house and in all other houses that are not owned by the state. In your prayer, pray for the president that wisdom may be given to him to see beyond next week. And as you are praying, pray for the debut president that wisdom may be given to him that whatever he speaks will build the nation. And as you pray, pray for his excellence, the right honorable former prime minister Raira Amolo Odinga. And I can tell you for free. God has given. Honorable Raira. Adequate patience. He now requires. Another set of wisdom. So that his grandchildren. Can have a nation. To be proud of. Your excellence. Honorable Raira. We are all your grandchildren. You have built the nation for us. We want to enjoy it. We pray for him. Pray for every other individual that is at the top. And God will grant us our prayer today. Lift up your arms and begin praying. Pray like you have never prayed before. Pray that there be given wisdom. Father, I thank you. I speak from this altar with authority and power that wisdom is now in Kenya. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen.